Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game. I'm David, and this is Adam Warlock. And uh, Adam Warlock, for those of you who don't know, is the all-in promo for season one of Marvel United. is now included in uh, new printings of the season one promo box. And uh, Adam Warlock is, well, an artificial human that rebelled against the creators, uh, traveled into space, and... Uh, yeah, it took on the name Adam, biblical reference, you know, first creature, Adam. Uh, did some really interesting stuff. I, yeah, awesome sculpt, right? Hanging on to these swirly patterns, staff, cape, uh, scepter, lots of, lots of weird things. Uh, Adam Warlock is uh, potent. You want to win the game. Uh, you're having trouble against a villain, uh, bring Adam Warlock. Uh, he's got four moves, three heroics, four punches, and three extra wilds. Yeah, three extra wilds, including a second double wild. See, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's really good, right? So uh, we've got only, well, here, one, two, three, four, five, Six, well, five cards that have a single action, one card that's a blank, and then six cards that are double actions. But here's the thing, the double actions. A double move, which if you're going to have move, give me a double move, thank you. Heroic punch, heroic punch, move heroic, kind of an undervalued combo, and then two double wilds. Right, One of them, the double wild that everybody gets, and then a second copy of that. Because who doesn't like having freedom of choice? I do. I do. Uh, Double wild, always amazing. Singles, single move, boo. That's like the one bad thing on Adam Warlock. It's just a single single move. Uh, single punch. Single punch on a special card. Single wild on a special card. The single wild everybody gets. And then a no... A no uh, symbol card. But let, let's talk about that. Because... If you're going to have a no symbol card, it's probably something really good. And that's the Avatar of Life. The next master plan card will be played face down with no effect. The bad guy doesn't get a turn. Okay, done. Moving on. Uh, that means doesn't move, so you know where he is. He's staying put. Uh, he can't bam, or they can't bam, sorry. I know there are female villains and, and et cetera, villains. Uh non-humanoid, non-gendered villains. Uh, and they can't add civilians or thugs. So safety. Uh, combined with some of the, the like, a Miles Morales that, that extends the villain by one turn. So now you go, like, four turns and then doesn't play a master plan card or plays it face down. You go seven turns without... Yeah, you, you better be able to win the game when you play that. Um, okay, so there's that. Then you've got Quantum Magic. Look at the top three master plan cards. Put them back on top in any order. Like, that's knowledge. That's power. That's knowing where the villain not only is right now, but where they're going to be next turn, where they're going to be the turn after that, and where they're going to be the turn after that. What they're going to put on the board, if they're bamming or not. You know so much when you get to do that. Uh, you, yeah, you have all the knowledge. With, with quantum magic. Uh, and then you have immortality. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, you cannot be forced to discard your last card. You cannot be knocked out. Sabretooth cannot possibly win because you are the hunted hero and you cannot be knocked out. Death cannot win because death cannot kill you 
Ronan cannot get a certain number of KOs because Ronan can't KO you. See, Adam Warlock is cheese. Uh, Adam Warlock breaks several villains, and I would highly recommend only playing Adam Warlock against the toughest of the tough. I'm talking about Dark Phoenix, Thanos, until you get the hang of how to beat Thanos. Uh, Apocalypse. I think Apocalypse would be suitable to play Adam Warlock against. Uh, maybe Green Goblin until you beat Green Goblin. Because Green Goblin can be super tough. Uh, the Sinister Six until you get a, a feel for the Sinister Six. Um, that would that would be fine to, to do. Because um, Sinister Six are super tough too. Uh, Deadpool's campaign. Adam Warlock. Uh, Deadpool wants to cheat. Adam Warlock's cheating right back. That would be funny. I need to do that on camera at some point. I I will. I will do that sometime. Um, it'll be in 2024, but I will do that. Um, I I hope that that will be a plan. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, that's the type of stuff you got to do because. It, it's not to me it's not fun to just be like okay yeah we're we're going up against red skull or or taskmaster today okay yeah i'm going to bring out adam warlock it's it's the same way in in the mcu captain marvel and i know this is a controversial take but captain marvel is powerful because of her ability her abilities. That didn't mean you call her in when you're dealing with, um, I don't know, with Kingpin breaking into a facility or running rampant through New York. You, that's not the time to call in Captain Marvel. You call in Captain Marvel when you're dealing with threats of the future of reality. You just need a certain level before you bring in the big guns. And Adam Warlock is definitely the big gun. And it's kind of, he kind of needs to go in a case that says breaking case of emergency, breaking case of we're going to lose. We've been losing a couple of times. We want to win. Um, I, I have not played Adam Warlock. Uh, much because I, I I just don't like the the super duper strong. I want something of a challenge in Marvel United, and Adam Warlock does <laughs> is cool. Is a lot of fun. Uh, is a character I'd be happy to give to um, to somebody who just wanted to have a lot of fun with the game. I think his specials would be super fun to bring in to a um, to the solo play. Um, I think Adam Warlock will be a lot of fun to bring in against Galactus when Season 3 comes in. I, I think Galactus is going to be really tough, and I think Adam Warlock will, will have some play there and against maybe something like Fin Fang Foom uh, because there are, they're meant to be these really tough battles, and, and I think you got to... Uh, bring in the big guns there. So uh, I know I'm kind of repeating myself there. Adam Warlock, awesome character, really cool character art. Um, this this one's probably my favorite of the artwork, uh, the one on Quantum Magic. And uh, I I uh, I would encourage you if you have a chance to play with Adam Warlock, do so. He is fun, but uh, also use sparingly. That's my best advice. All right. Hey, thank you all for watching. Appreciate your time. And uh, until next time, keep brushing up your game. Uh, this does wrap up season one. So uh, next time we'll be into season two stuff. Um, take care, everybody. Thank you.